why take away this perk and say it's only for members? I mean, that's the best advertising you can have is letting somebody in and experiencing it. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Costco is acting like a, a very deranged, very sick ex-girlfriend. I know that's a crazy idea to say, but Costco is is legitimately like, no, if you don't have your membership here, then you cannot buy your one dollar and fifty cent hot dogs here. Either. Becky. Right. So Costco is taking the approach of Becky where it's like, hey, listen, nah, you don't want to date me. You can't have all the goods that come with dating me, whatever the goods are. Right. Costco saying, you don't want to be a member. You can't have all the goods that go along with being a member, like $1.50 hot dogs. Deal with it. Right? Costco's going to crack down on non members eating at food courts. Dude, I am a huge Costco fan. This shirt came from Costco, right? I love this shirt. One of my favorite shirts. Uh, I, I got like four different patterns of it. Very lightweight, very nice. It's a nice. streams on YouTube wearing it, but I got a Costco. I think it was like 20 bucks. And they are saying that they're going to make sure that if you're not a Costco member like myself and the elitist Costco members like myself, if you're not one of those people like me, you are not allowed to eat in the food court. Give me a break. The people eating the food court, especially these days with inflation running rampant, if they can get in and get a dollar fifty hot dog instead of having to go to McDonald's for an eighteen dollar Big Mac meal, dude, let them in. What better way to sell your Costco membership than to have people come in, enjoy the food court, enjoy the scenery, and enjoy seeing the huge lines of people that are just running through those checkouts all day every day. Because Costco is one of those places where every time I go in, it is loaded with people, right? But their cashiers are outstanding. I can get through one of those lines five minutes or less. It's way better than going to Disney World lines. But why take away this perk and say it's only for members? I mean, that's the best advertising you can have is letting somebody in and experiencing it. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. To me, if if I were running Costco, I would say let everybody come in. Let's have it where people can come straight into the food court uh, from an outside door. But the food court faces like the uh, the rest of the uh, the warehouse, right? F food court faces the rest of the warehouse. So when you're sitting there eating, you can look out and see these incredible prices, right? When you look out there seating, seated and eating, you can see all these happy customers and you can say, man, I'm enjoying this dollar fifty hot dog. I'm enjoying this dollar fifty hot dog. But I definitely would enjoy a Costco membership too. So to me, this makes no sense. Why would they crack down on this? Costco will get stricter about who can use its food courts. A retailer will enforce a requirement that food court patrons must have a Costco membership card starting in a couple of weeks. So are they going to like card everybody, right? You're sitting there enjoying your hot dog, enjoying your chicken bake. Uh, my kids like to get the uh, ice cream sundae things. Sitting there enjoying ice cream with your kids. Oh, the pizzas, right? The pizzas. Whenever we have a, a bunch of family, basically a bunch of kids, whenever we have a bunch of kids over, I run over to Costco and get, you know, three or four of those enormous pizzas for like, 10 bucks each? Yeah, dude, for sure. So uh, so they're going to card everybody who goes to food court? Give me a break. Food courts are our home to the $1.50 hot dog combo, the chicken bake, and pizzas, all of which are extremely popular among customers. Uh, a user uploaded a photo to the Costco subreddit in March that claimed that they depict a signage in Orlando saying the membership card requirement for food court purchases will become effective on April 8th. Uh, this person who retired from serving as Costco's longtime CFO in March recently said the move would affect locations featuring exterior food courts. One of the challenges is that some of the food courts have gotten so busy, particularly if it's near some office buildings or construction sites, that we're getting member complaints. The retailer makes customers show their membership card to get into its warehouses, something that already curbs non-member usage inside the food courts, right? Let's, let's zoom in on this food court image real quick. Get out of my way. There we go. <clears throat> so we've got the twisted churro for a buck forty-nine. 
You've got the ice cream sundaes that I was talking about for two fifty. You've got these freeze things, which the cold brew mocha freeze is outstanding, uh, but it's also like nine hundred something calories. So I've only got in a couple times. Uh, then you've got the hot dog, hot dog and a coke for buck fifty. Yeah, the ten dollar pizza, enormous pizza. The chicken bake. I hear a lot of people saying good things about this chicken bake. I've only had it once. It was okay. And fifty nine cent sodas, dude. This is awesome. Why would you not want more people going there? Why would you not want more people coming in and saying, wow, this is a pretty sweet deal. Maybe I should get a Costco membership. But to turn away people, to card them whenever they're trying to eat, dude, give me a break. Give me a break. This is such a dumb idea. The website says, generally, only Costco members may purchase items at Costco. Globally, around 132 million have membership cards, which I am one of. Other recent membership-related crackdowns include Costco starting to ask shoppers to present their membership cards when using self-checkout. So I, I don't understand how this would work. So I've I've heard this right. My my dad was telling me this story. He was like, "Hey, you're gonna get carded whenever you go to Costco," and I'm like, "Why?" He's like, "Well, they're gonna you know make sure that your ID matches your uh, your Costco card when you're using self-checkout." And I'm like, "Okay." So you have to scan the Costco card to do the checkout anyway so as long as you have the card who cares who's physically in the building right if i pass it to my wife and she takes it there has been one time this actually did happen i forgot about this there's been one time where we have one costco card between two of us it's got my picture on it. it's got my name on it and i remember the one time my wife went to costco they would not actually let her check out they were like no you're you're not christopher i'm sorry you you can't check out here and she's like what she calls me on the phone she was like this is some bullshit costco wouldn't let me buy it because my name's not on the card even though we're married we live in the same address you know all this stuff and i'm like dude that's so weird i don't know Maybe I'm just too loose with my borders, if you want to think of it that way, where it's like, you know, you got a card, let someone shop, who cares? The Costco is still getting paid either way. So uh, that's just my opinion. I think Costco is acting like a crazy ex-girlfriend. Let's take a look at what Costco's stock price is doing using the AI trading data. Oh, hang on a second. We just got a sell signal on Costco on March 13th, right? We got this buy signal on February 12th, and then we got this sell signal on March 13th. So if you are a Costco shareholder, now may be the time to be going to cash. Um, in fact, let's take a look at the performance summary. We can see that uh, using the outlier signals has actually given us a 114.76% return. So pretty outstanding returns right here. So like I say, if you're a Costco shareholder, now may be the time to be going to cash. I wouldn't be going short here. Um, I only look to go short when stocks are already in a downtrend and it's still trending upward right now, but this is a go to cash type of signal. So if you want to get these signals delivered to you every single day, go to outlier deal real quick. We only got about 10 days left of the lifetime license deal, and then that's going to be gone forever. So be sure you do that. Let's take a look at what the internet's saying about this, right? Costco is requiring a membership to buy food from the food court starting on April 8th. My food court is outside, so it made it easy to grab and go. Thoughts? See, that goes back to my earlier point where if you're going to be doing the food courts in Costco, they should be inside where people actually see all the great prices, all the great experience, right? Not outside, right? If it's outside, it's basically a food truck, which I don't eat at food trucks. I think they're disgusting. Uh, how can you have people plus food plus oil plus gas and everything else all crammed into one little tiny space with their sweat and nastiness and the, the fumes? No, I don't eat at food trucks. Uh, you could buy food from their food court without a membership this whole time. <laughs> that gets a like in my area. Yes, I guess they didn't care about that much before this. This been a thing at Costco since last year. That's good. Many will use it if they've been to various Costco locations. True. I didn't know it wasn't all Costco's. Okay. Wait, I thought they started this years ago. Reason why I stopped going to Costco to buy food. Don't tell me I could have been going the whole time. So if you have a membership, it should still be a quick grab and go. Yeah, hopefully it will be. But scanning the card is an extra step. Yep. It's been a thing for a couple of years now at this person's store. I guess they're now applying it to all. Someone ruined it. Absolutely. Yeah. Somebody ruined the uh, the fact that they could go in and get their $1.50 hot dogs on lunch. That's too bad. But I'll tell you what, YouTube thinks you're going to love one of these two videos above. So click here to watch more.
And I'll see you on the next Outlier Live. Talk soon. 